America's favorite voter, Ken Bone, from the faint, got famous with the red sweater in the third debate in 2016. Hearts, let's be he captured America's hearts. He voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016. Ultimately, he was an undecided voter. This time around, actually, Ken Bone earlier in the primary endorsed Andrew Yang. Not surprising I that he about remained that. an undecided voter. So he's been tweeting about how he finally has come to his choice. He was an undecided voter. He decided ultimately to vote for the libertarian candidate, Joe Jorgensen, who I have some issues with. But he says, I voted for Hillary in 2016. This morning, I sealed my mail-in ballot having voted for Joe Jorgensen. I don't agree with either of them 100 percent, but felt that they were the best options available to me at the time. I'm sure now, people took this in like a totally normal right. and even-handed way, right, Tiger? Of course. Well, <laughs> actually, it was, I feel, I feel really bad for Ken because, look, that's a totally legitimate position to hold. He feels fed up with the system. It's essentially a protest vote. He doesn't feel as if anybody is particularly speaking to him. Fine. Okay. Of course I accept- it's a legitimate position. You can vote for whoever you yes, want. It's a legitimate position. <laughs> He's an American citizen and he has his rights. Yeah. Oh, man. He got... It, I have not seen a freak out this big in a long time. He tweets, let's throw the second one up there. All morning, the Trump supporters have been nice to me, even though I don't like Trump. The Biden camp has been shitting all over me because I don't like Biden. Do these people really not see how much this behavior pushes bystanders towards the right? Now, you can go through, he's got, it's got like 2007 quote tweet, 13,000 retweets, and so much more. But if you go and you can look at the replies to Ken's tweet. They're like, yeah, um, you should expect pushback if you're gonna vote for an effing Nazi. Or they're like, you're an effing Nazi collaborator. I mean, it is just absolutely unhinged the way they are going after Ken Bone. And I think that he, yeah, this here's the top tweet. Nazis are nice to me isn't the defense that you think it is. What is wrong with you? Uh. Once again, Ken can do whatever the hell he wants. That's America. <laughs> and like, yeah, it's just, it absolutely drives me nuts I, to see also like blue check mark journalists being like, screw Ken Bone, never want to hear about this guy again. Maybe Ken is like more Americans than you. Huh? I mean, his final point there of like, don't you see how counterproductive this yeah. is and how this pushes people to the right? is so true and such a like basic and obvious fact that I don't know why so many of these people can't wrap their heads around it or don't want to wrap their heads around it. Do you think you're persuading Ken Bone right. or anyone or else? anyone who watches that. Running yeah. around and being like, you're a Nazi collaborator and how dare you yes. like decide to vote for the person that you think best matches Crazy. your interests? Like, it's completely bonkers. And it goes back to this core instinct rather than like, The Democratic Party can do no wrong, right? They can never fail. They can only be failed. It's always the voters' fault for not doing the thing they're supposed to do, not going along and voting the way they want them to vote. It's never the fault of Hillary Clinton. It's never the fault of Nancy Pelosi. It's never the fault of Joe Biden for running on a platform as inspiring as, like, I'm going to wear a mask and, you know, not tweet mean stuff. It's never their fault. There's never any accountability there. You're not even allowed to say that you have a critique of them and you wish that you would do something different. You're the crazy one if you actually expect them to have a policy agenda that they're going to fight for that may benefit your life. Like, you're the crazy one if that's your expectation. And so the idea that you would melt down over who Ken Bone is going to vote for, I mean, it just shows how completely insane these people have become. And I'm thinking about George H.W. Bush, right? And I remember I watched a documentary once where he's like, I don't like Ross Perot and I think he cost me the election. I'm like, or maybe NAFTA cost you the election, man. You know, maybe. How maybe about that? 20% of the American public voted for Ross Perot because of they were fed up with globalism and they didn't want to go down the path. By the way, they were all correct and Ross was a prophet. But he never factors that into his decision. We talked Nothing. to the head of polling for Gallup yes. um, yesterday, Mohammed Yunus. He always does a great job breaking down their numbers. It's worth what? That was yesterday, right? Uh, I think two Time years. Time, or I don't know. Anyway, Mohammed Yunus yeah. told us that their recent polling shows overwhelming majority of Americans want a third party. Yes. They want to have more choice in their democracy because they feel boxed in by this like lesser of two evils existential situation because a lot of people don't fit squarely in the Democratic Party. They're not like party loyalists. They don't think these people are like super amazing and celebrity gods to be worshipped the way that the commentariat on television would have you think that they do. So Ken Bone is much more reflective of the way that 
most Americans feel than whoever was coming after him on Twitter. That's exactly right. We're with you, Ken. (laughs) All right, more rising for you after this.